Welcome to this video on lactate threshold heart rate tests and lactate threshold pace tests. Uh, I'm about to do one myself as part of my testing protocol going into race season. So I thought I'd do this video um, about that, basically. So some of you may not know what it is, so I'm going to run through it in a few steps. Firstly, I'm going to explain what the test itself is. I'm going to explain to you how you can do it. And thirdly, I'm going to explain why this data is actually really important and just really useful. And if you hang around to the end of this video, you'll see me doing my test and my own results. But before we continue, can you please not forget to drop this video a like? It really helps me out. It also just makes me feel warm and fuzzy inside um, that people watch this stuff because honestly, I, I don't know who you are at this point. Um, with that, we are going to go right into it. A lactate threshold run test or a lactate threshold heart rate test is much like an FTP test on a bike. And the whole purpose of it is to find your heart rate threshold at which your body starts producing more lactic acid than it can clean out. You will know what lactic acid feels like. It feels like your legs have suddenly turned to lead. They don't want to move. Everything hurts. Breathing is really uncomfortable. It's a really, really rubbish feeling and it's really quite useful to know where that zone is for you, like how close to the edge are you when you're out running or you're out racing. So we can take a quick look at my structured session for this test. Um, you can see that you want to do a really thorough warm up beforehand. And as part of that warm up, you want to do kind of three sets of one minute at a higher intensity. The whole purpose of that is to kind of wake up your system to operating at pace. Uh, and it also kind of just flushes the legs a little bit, gets everything going preps your body and your mind for the fact that you're about to do a hard effort. Now, this hard effort is 30 minutes of hard effort. Um, it needs to be the hardest possible effort that you can sustain for the whole 30 minutes. Um, so there's no point going out at your 5k PB if you're a sub 25 k uh, and dying because that's not going to be particularly useful. Um, so you're much better in that case starting off at around 10k pace and then kind of ramping it up towards the end of the test. It's really nice to finish strong on this. It's really advised to finish strong. Um, and the beautiful thing is fine, the pace may be a little bit off, but if you kind of go out a little bit too easy at the beginning, but ramp up your heart rate towards the back end of the test, um, the results themselves should still be really quite accurate. What you then do after you've recovered from that and had a little lie down and maybe a little cry, depending on how hard you went, is you take the average heart rate for the final 20 minutes of that 30 minutes just the 20 minutes um, and what you do is that average heart rate and if you've done it on a flat surface that average pace that is your lactate threshold uh, that heart rate is at the, is the point at which your body starts producing more lactic acid than it can clean out and that pace is the point at which your body starts producing more lactic acid than it cleans out and hypothetically that pace and that heart rate is sustainable for an hour um, which if you think about it is quite impressive actually. Now, why is that information useful? Well, if you're racing, for example, it allows you to pace yourself better. Uh, you can kind of sit around or just below your lactate threshold pace um, because heart rate normally goes completely off, you know, off beats when you're racing, adrenaline's pumping, it's not always the best metric to run off. Secondly, if you train on heart rate zones, it's really useful to set your zones off your lactate threshold heart rate. If you train off pace, it's really useful to set your pace zones off your lactate threshold pace. Um, and lastly, it's just a good piece of information in terms of knowing how you're progressing, how you're improving, how your body is adapting. It's also quite useful for things like Training Peaks and Strava uh, that calculate training stress scores based off heart rate and pace zones. The beautiful thing about this test is that it's really easy to do yourself. It's really easy to repeat. You don't need a lab. You don't need a coach. You don't need blood samples. Um, it really is kind of just like go out, run hard, get the results and track your progress over the course of your running career. Um, I would recommend that everyone do this at least once um, just to see how it goes. It's quite nice to push yourself in those moments. And for people that are training more seriously, it's definitely something that you can incorporate into your training regime a few times a year just to keep your training honest and it keeps it as efficient as possible. Um, for example, my first time that I did this test, my lactate threshold heart rate was 162. The last time I set a new threshold heart rate, it was 178. Uh, if I was training off the old zones, I, it, would be a, it would have been wasted training. 
basically. So it just it just it just makes sure that you're using um, your training to the best of your ability. Now. That being said, it's now my turn to go do my test. Um, if you're only here for how to do the tests and uh, all of that jazz, then thanks for dropping by. Don't forget to drop a, drop a like before you leave. Uh, and for the rest of you that are gonna stay to watch me suffer and maybe vomit and maybe have a little cry, I will see you in the pain cave. Pieces. I am changed and ready to go. Um, full Adidas gongs. Um, I've decided that in light of the test to not use my 4%. Um, the foam on these is trash, they wear out really quick, oh, I'll save them for racing. So I'm going to do it in the Carbon X. Uh, also the platform's just more stable on that shoe, um, which I think will help on this. I'm feeling a little bit nervous, just finished class, um, and we're going to get going. Better to just get this out of the way, push hard, have fun. Try not to vomit all over the treadmill. The dream. This is today's testing device. And we're running that. that really sucks um but i'm so so happy with that so if we take the final 20 minutes of the 30 minute test itself puts my threshold pace now at 316 a kilometer and my threshold heart rate at 178 beats per minute um which is a huge improvement like my previous threshold heart rate, uh, threshold pace that I had in there was 330 a kilometer. So 14 seconds a kilometer faster at threshold now. Um, it's just, just huge. And this just goes to show like my training paces now will be updated to reflect that, uh, which is a really big increase actually. Um, and it will just mean things are ticking along. It's making the goals of a sub 75 half marathon off the bike in a half Ironman look doable that's it it's it's doable i'm gonna do it i back myself to do it um so yeah that's uh th that's this video on lactate threshold heart rate test lactate threshold pace tests if you found it interesting and informative then please don't forget to drop this video a like um if you'd like to support me on my journey to iron man world champs uh which is, is going to happen uh i've recently kick-started back up my patreon um, the tiers are really low. It's, you know, there are benefits to all of them, including some discount codes for things like tri bars and sun dried, uh, athletic wear. So if that's something that interests you and you want to help me out a little bit more than just, um, watching these videos, then I'll drop a link down in the description below. But as, uh, as always full send bones mend, and I will see you in the next video pieces.